What's up YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar and today I am showing all of you viewers at home the new Breville Dual Boiler that I just picked up about a couple days ago and I'm just going to kind of just go through the normal simple process and just show you how the workflow is on the Dual Boiler if you're thinking about upgrading from the Barista Express. And no, I am not getting rid of my Barista Expresses. I'm going to have them both. Um, I have the other one in the kitchen right now. However, I'm just going to show you how this machine performs and is it worth upgrading from the Barista Express. We'll get to that right after the intro. Roll the intro! Alright, so I'm just going to start out like normal. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the scale. Tear it off. So we're at right at zero. We're going to try to aim for 17.5 grams. This can be different based on your preference. This is just something that I find more flavorful. All right, so 17.5 grams. So this video is also going to be unedited because I want you guys to see the wheel the real workflow of the dual boiler compared and mixed up with the niche grinder. So I'm gonna bring you guys up here now. One thing I have really thoroughly enjoyed about the niche zero retention grinder is the fact that it is just what it says it is. It's zero retention. It holds almost little to no beans. And the grind is so uniform and hardly any clumps at all. I mean, it's just absolutely wonderful. So now we're going to come down here. We are going to remove the porter filter. Just gonna kind of wipe it down. So one other big thing about the dual boiler is the fact that it has the commercialized 58 millimeter standard size porter filter, as opposed to the Breville, which is only a 54 millimeter. So big difference. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and hardly any static. All right, so now we are just going to So I have not set this at all to the right height. So what we're going to do is we're going to twist this piece. And we're just going to bring this out to about the size that we think, tighten it up. So we still need to tighten this up a little bit more. Bring it out. This is good for all of you guys at home to see. So I would say just a little bit more and it'll be perfect to go. So maybe a little half a spin right there. Lock that in. Set it down in there. And that's perfect. So as you guys can see now, it is perfect. There's no indention. And now we are just going to tamp. So while I'm waiting for my tamp, I am from coming from Amazon, I will just go ahead and tamp with the original tamper with the machine. There we go. Now I'm going to bring it over to the machine and we are going to pull our shot. So one cool thing about this machine is it actually has a clock timer so you don't have to time it as you go. I like to just flush out the machine like always. Wipe that down. 
take this back up there. All right, so now what we are going to do is we are going to wet our rag there just so I can wipe down that steam wand. Now we are going to just lock this into the head right there, the group head. We're going to put this right in here, put it sideways. We're going to try to put two glasses on here. The scale is a little off, however, it should do fine. We're going to go ahead and let's pull our double shot. So this has a 11 second pre-infusion. So we have a beautiful shot coming here. So you can froth the exact same time. However, I just want to show you guys the shot first before I go ahead and pull my shot. Okay, so right there, we got 37, 38 grams in 30 seconds. And after pre-infusion, about 22 seconds, so or 20 seconds. So that's a pretty good shot there. So we are just going to go ahead and pull these aside. Pull the scale out of here. And we are just going to prepare our steam wand. So the nice thing is with the steam wand is you can steam your milk in half the time as the Barista Express. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour my milk. And I am, I am using A2 milk. Uh, this milk is a lot better for me. It doesn't froth as well, but it's a lot easier on your stomach if you can't drink dairy all the time. If you can't drink whole milk all the time, uh, it's just a different enzyme. So make sure to purge that steam wand just to get it all out. Right now we're just going to add about 15 seconds worth of air into the milk. Alright, so right now it's good. So now I'm just going to get that rolling of that milk going. And then once it's too hot to touch, it will be perfect. So I'll go ahead and turn that down. And I like to purge my steam wand and wipe it in between uh, frothing your milk. It's just going to be a lot less of a headache in the long run because it's not going to dry up with your next shot. So I got a little milk, but that's a good thing about showing you guys live or not live, but it's a good thing showing you unedited. So you guys can see that. Alright, so now I will go ahead and froth and add air to this milk. So as you can tell, it's a lot faster than the Barista Express. Um, so that's been a huge upgrade. Like I said, this A2 milk, uh, I will do a review on different kinds of milk for all of you guys at home who are lactose intolerant. And I will also be going through and showing you guys uh, how it froths as well in a future video. All right, so I got that all done. Now I'm just gonna roll that milk in there till it gets too hot to touch, which is about now. ahead and purge your steam wand wipe it down keep it clean and we are going to pour them into our beautiful shots here so we're gonna go ahead and mix into the jug so 
I'm gonna put you guys up on the overhead to see the latte art. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this milk up. Make sure it's all mixed together perfectly good. Pour it into here. So good thing about doing this is you saw little clumps. So we can just go ahead and since we poured it into the jug, we can just mix all those clumps together. So you don't have main salad clumps. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and attempt some latte art. So here's the first one. Now we're gonna come over here. Go ahead and mix together. So that's something that you're gonna have to just experiment with using different milks. Because it does matter when trying to pour that latte art. So second one here. So I tried going for another one there, but definitely that next petal messed it up. However, it's getting a little better. Uh, it's also a lot clearer when you do a double shot because there's more contrast between the espresso and the froth milk. All right, so I'm actually going to be pulling another shot here for me. I prefer the double shot. My wife prefers single shots. So I'm, I made both of those for her. She'll save one for tomorrow or later today. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the process of how great the workflow is for the dual boiler. And I'm going to pull my shot and steam froth my milk at the exact same time. Well, Bean did not want to go up. We'll get that later. Bean didn't want to make its way into the cup, but that's okay. So we have 17.3, looking for 17.5, stay consistent, 17.4. All right, we can deal with 17.6. So now we are going to put it in the niche and we are going to grind away. Again, looks really good in uniform there. And now we are going to place it back on the scale. And as you can see, 17.6. Niche is very good with zero retention. Good job, Niche. And let's go ahead and get our shot ready. So because we still have a prior shot, it's a good way to look at the knock box. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that in there. And this does a great job in making the grinds in here extremely dry to where it's extremely easy to clean out. And it's never really a soggy puck at all. However, I still do like to still flush out the machine. I'll show you guys that now. So I will flush the machine out. Just get rid of that nasty coffee that you just saw come out. I'm gonna lock this back in here. Let that hot water drain through the spouts. And then I will pull it right back out. And then I will go ahead and clean it. I like to take it apart, clean in the inside right before I'm about to pull my next shot. 
This is not a must do, but it's just something that I enjoy doing. All right, so now I will go ahead and Perfect. Just go ahead and tap that. So right now we have a little spot right here where we are gonna wanna fix. So we are going to actually change the depth on this one more time. So now that spot is fixed and we are going to go ahead and tamp. So until I get my tamp in from Amazon, we're going to use the tamp that comes with the machine. So. Perfect. Now I'm going to bring you right over to the machine. I'll bring you right over here so you guys can see a different angle when pulling this next shot. Throw our scale underneath of it. And since my wife is currently using the other mugs, we will go ahead and use one of these bigger cups here. They're huge. So we're just going to stick this underneath, start it up, purge our steam wand, make sure that nice dry steam coming out. We're going to add our milk to about halfway to the bottom of the spout. A little bit more. So like I said, this is going to be unedited so you guys can see the whole process and I'll bring you guys over here. Actually, I'm going to keep you guys over here so that way it's a lot easier for you guys to see everything. So we're going to go ahead and pull our shot and we're also going to grab our mouth. So I mean, this is the great benefit of a dual boiler as opposed to a single boiler. So we're almost done here. Purge your steam on, go ahead and wipe it down. I like to wipe the area and purge that again. And I'll bring you guys up top so I can show you the overhead view. All right, so we just got to the over top view and we are going to mix our milk, get rid of all the excess water in here, go ahead and pour that into the jug. Mix that together. We are going to 
mix this together. We're gonna try to perform some good lots there for you. So with double shot, like I said, it's gonna be better because you get more of a contrast. So it kind of disappeared a little bit up top, but you still got that latte art and it is going to taste amazing. So now let's get to the next part of the video. All right guys, so this is just a quick look at the Breville Barista Dual Boiler. And the Breville Dual Boiler has been a big upgrade for my coffee shop and I have been extremely happy to use it. Uh, I would say that the shots are a little bit smoother than the Barista Express and the milk frothing cuts it in half. So it's about 30 seconds as opposed to on the Express, about a minute and 10 seconds to froth start to finish in your milk. And one cool thing is, is you can pull your shots and froth your milk at the exact same time with the Breville Dual Boiler, which is also a great thing and I will be going in depth a lot more with this machine in further beauty in future videos so this is unedited so you guys are going to see all my flaws so in future uh, in future videos I am going to show you guys more in depth on this machine and why I believe it's a great upgrade from the Breeze Express however the Breeze Express is not going anywhere it, it will stay on my channel for as long as I have my channel because I Really believe in the Barista Express and I have been extremely happy to use it and it really got me into espresso making from home. So as always, Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, if you can hit that like and subscribe button down below, I would truly appreciate it. We're growing a family here on this channel and I can't wait to see where it goes. Until next time, peace.